What do you mean? What do you mean by that, Vito? I don't know about that, bro. What uh? What What do you mean? What do you mean you don't want to tell him that? <laughs> I don't want to tell him. You all right? You're like a different person right now. Yeah, I'm a little fucked up right now. Oh, you're a little fucked up. <laughs> all right. You fucked up? <laughs> yeah. You ready to uh, tell Harold about Vegas? Well, I'll tell him that, yeah. What are you going to tell him? Uh, I don't think so. Are you going to tell him about all the porno chicks? Oh, yeah. A couple of fucks. A couple of bitches. Bitches and hoes? Bitches and hoes. Bitches, hoes, and sluts. Sluts, bitches. That's right. You like that, right? <laughs> yeah, I had a nice time with it. All right, man. Now, let's bring in the Beetlejuice. But, uh, but wait a second, don't bring in Beetlejuice yet. Uh, let me set this up right. Okay, so, you know, a couple of, uh, like, like three months ago, Baba Buhai came to me uh, during the show, as he does in the commercials, and he says, uh, he says to me, uh, Boof, there's good news and bad news. Uh-oh, another one? Yeah, good news and bad news. Yeah. I said, what's the good news and the bad That's news? That's what it is. Said, well, the good news is you received a major reward. I said, oh, Really? He says, but the bad news is it's from Adult Video News. That's the porno awards. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I say, well, the bad news is always your teeth. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Wolf. Thank you for the compliment, Wolf. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, it's true. I received the Freedom of Speech Award or something from the Adult Video News, which is a porno convention where, like, chicks who just won for best anal scene, you know, win awards. So, okay. And Beetle, now, now bring in Beetlejuice. Here, come, here he comes. And by the way, if you want more information on Beetlejuice, because people are writing us all the time, they want to get in touch with Beetlejuice. Can you get a hold of Beetlejuice? The, the real place to get a hold of Beetlejuice. Here he comes. He's wearing his slippers oh, and robe. He changed his hair color. Yes, he did. He's the Dennis Rodman of dwarves. Dennis Rodman. He, I think he's the the. He's F. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he's dressed in robe and bunny slippers. <laughs> Beetlejuice. No. Uh, for information on Beetlejuice, go to jollydwarf.com. Beetlejuice. You know, is I like this look. He looks great. He's got a big cigar. <laughs> you look great, Beetlejuice. Thank you. Get, get, cl get close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just soaking in Beetlejuice. I know. It takes a while. Beetlejuice, whose idea was it for you to... He has such a small head that the headphones don't fit on him. It's okay. It's all right. What's on top And the funniest head? thing is the little tuft of hair <laughs> at the top. Beetlejuice, what do you do? You dyed your hair like Dennis Rodman? Is he a hero of yours? Yeah. Yeah, you like Dennis Rodman. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading. Look like him. Yeah, you look like him. You do. Yeah, you're a shorter <laughs> version. It looks like shaving cream on top of his. <laughs> no, I shave every day, you know. Yeah. Oh. So Beetlejuice. Don't uh, distract. Get rid you'll, of be it. Yeah. you'll be surprised to know that Dennis Rodman badly wants to get back into basketball. He has removed all the hair color from his hair. Is that right? He has stopped wearing all the wild uh, jewelry. He got rid of the piercing. Got rid of the yeah, and he is now. I read this in the paper today. He's he would love to be with the L.A. Lakers again because of the coach. The guy who coached him in Chicago. Right. Uh, Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. But since they don't want him, they're a winning team. Uh, I think he's trying to go to Dallas anywhere. Yeah, I heard Dallas was yeah. sort of interested. And he says now he's serious. He's not going to be distracted, and he's going to be a serious player. Oh, sure. Well, that's what he says. Well, yeah, and he can keep his focus for how long? I don't know, but Beetlejuice is focused on me, that's for sure. <laughs> Beetlejuice is staring at me like a woman in love. Are you in love with me, Have Beetlejuice? You missed no. Our Beetlejuice was good enough to take a plane all the way down to uh, Vegas. Right. Did you like Las Vegas? Had you ever been there before? Yeah, I've been there twice. Is that right? I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know. know you traveled. You were down there on other business? Yeah. What kind of business? Oh, uh, travel business. Traveling business, yeah. All right. So anyway, so Beetlejuice, we sent Beetlejuice to accept. Yes, I will accept your award. Yeah, my award, yes. Yeah. All right. Beetlejuice got out there when they announced my name. Because I thought it was ridiculous that I was receiving the Adult Video News Award. You were embarrassed. That's right. By the way, here it is. Oh, there's right there. the tape. Look wow. at Beetlejuice. Yeah, there's Beetlejuice coming out. Let me play it now, if you can turn that off, and let me play the sound. He looks like the good humor man. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> so, a lot of you people know about us giving, the Howard, giving Howard Stern the Special Achievement Award and how he would not come this evening. And um, we wanted to give it to Howard Stern for a couple reasons. One, because it's great publicity. Two, he's really been 
done a lot for this industry, and a lot of the girls in the industry have gotten tremendous publicity. He has really treated this industry like a regular industry and given, every, given this business a lot of press. I think Beetlejuice is snoring. Beetlejuice, are you awake? What are you snoring? <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't oh. sleep during don't this. Sleep during this. <laughs> it's your moment. It's your moment to come out. Here we go. And a lot of positive press. And with his own FCC battles, I thought it was appropriate to give him the award. Hmm. It's not a very nice speech. He, he seems to be angry. <laughs> Yeah. At you. Yeah, like, we're giving him this award. Here's why. So, you know. You know, we decided to give him the award because it would be good publicity. Yeah, right. And he wouldn't even pick it up. I remember when Al Goldstein got this award last year. They were like, hey, here he comes. He's a freedom oh, fighter. He's so great. I yeah. think because I didn't show up, they're bad yeah. me. Yeah. So, Howard does deserve this award, but he wouldn't come this evening. Despite my urgings and 4 a.m. telephone calls. Excuse me, I couldn't fly out to Las Vegas. I got a job. Like, I'm going to get up and accept an award with a straight face in front of, like, best anal actress. Yeah, the girl who yeah. just uh, had never done a movie yeah. and never held a camera and just won an award. Well, Beetle just was more than willing to go out there. He sent somebody named Beetlejuice to pick up this award. So, to accept Howard Stern's Special Achievement Award is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, here he comes now. Now Beetlejuice walks out. He walks out. Dressed beautifully. Of women, beautiful a lot of women. beautiful women carrying Beetlejuice out. They, they have, have to music go. Music to pipe him in. Yeah, and they have to find a, a thing for him to stand there because Beetlejuice box. is quite short. Yeah. No. Well, this is for Harry Stern. What? This is for Harry Stern. Harry Stern. So now they're trying to find you a thing a to stand on, right? Yeah. Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Beetlejuice, do you, do you understand what you're saying when you talk? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you understand. Right, because you might have to translate some of this uh. stuff. Well, be, well, be juice juice here. Had a big penis here. <laughs> All right, so now you're talking about the size of your penis, and uh, you're saying I'm a great man. <laughs> but you come after yeah, his yeah, penis. Right. Is it? We're all staring at. What are you all staring at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're up there making a speech, they're staring at you. I don't bet he got in and I was staring there. How you like it? <laughs> big head and big star. I have a dream. I love it. I uh, love to draw up, babies. You love to what? Throw up? <laughs> You love to throw up? Is that what you said? Sure. <laughs> That's a funny guy that said that. You just said that. All right, here we go. Oh, hold and hold. Alicia Class, please, we need you. Yes. Were you finished, Beetle? Just no, they, they're cutting them off. <laughs> You're just getting warmed up. That was rude of them to cut you off like that, right? Oh, were you yeah, insulted? They cut me off. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You were making a good they, When did they take you after this? Out to the alley to beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> such is better. How do you love it? Such is better. When you're yelling, sex is better? Sex right. is better than what? Women. Than uh, women. I love Harry Stern. He's a great man. I love it, whores and bitches around here. I love that shit. <laughs> a lot of whores and bitches did were out there. Did you get any action while you were out there? Did you get laid out there? Me? Oh, twice. Twice. Really? I saw a tape of him. All the uh, porno stars were all over Beetlejuice like he was like James Bond. Really? Like he was a rock star. The girls were going wild for you. Yeah, they was. They were d taking their breasts and hitting you in the head with them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Did you like that? Hey, that was good, though. It was all good. And I saw some of the girls grabbing your crotch and French kissing you? Yeah. <laughs> Superstar or something? Yeah. Yeah. He I'm booking both. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a documentary on him. He's a big hero in his neighborhood. Oh my goodness. In fact, I saw the documentary on our TV show. <laughs> <laughs> 
I swear to God, you were having so much fun out there, your hair turned white. <laughs> That's what happened. He didn't dye it. All right. I'm my own man. I'm Tony Gray. What else? <laughs> so he's still going. Spading in life, huh? Right. I'm hot and I'm better. And I'm in charge, so come on. The show is two hours. I promised a lot of friends. Two hours. We gotta go. All right. I'll see y'all later. All right, you graciously left. They, they obviously didn't appreciate your sense of humor. Oh, well. And uh, you showed them. You left. Let them go there with their stinking awards. Who cares? <laughs> Where's the award, by the way? Yeah, do you, by do the way, Casey got it for me. He yeah. did? Well, he's going to bring it after I go out. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. After so anyway. After I go out, I'm going to bring it to you. What a lot of people don't realize is we had an earpiece on Beetlejuice, and we would tell you what to say, right? Yeah. So now for the first time on radio, we're going to play for you. Beetlejuice being instructed by our people. Okay. Who was instructing him, Ganji? You? Uh, myself and Doug. Oh, both of you guys were talking? And, uh, and you both were in his earpiece? Wow. Beetlejuice, was it confusing having these guys in your ear while you were trying to talk? Yeah. It was. It was well, hard. Well, you got to realize, we rehearsed them in advance for like an hour. Right. And we went over every point. You know, we're like, hey, when we say this, you repeat after us. Right. And we kept going over it for an hour, and he was great. So Howard's going to win an award tonight. Okay, you're going to accept for him. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Tell me some things you want to talk uh, about. Just a couple things. Like what? Like what? Uh, I don't know. All right, but you're not going to leave the stage until they pull you off. Okay. Whenever you have any thought, you're going to you're going to say to the microphone. You got to elaborate. Don't just say I like women. Say I like women. I like your big breasts. I like your big asses. I want to have sex with you. You're all hot. I'll well, kiss I'll, you. I'll, I'll suck I'll, your well. titties. Stuff like that. Just keep going. Okay, Mike's going to be in your ear. I'll be in your earpiece as well. But if you have a thought we give to you, don't stop at just repeating what we say. You keep going. You think on, think on your own if you can. You think you can do it? Yeah. You ready? I'm been ready. Tell me how ready you are. I'm been ready. Yell it loud. I'm been ready. That, that's the way you got to do it on stage. You get up, you say, I'm Beetlejuice, you sluts and whores. All right. Oh, sluts and whores and bitches. <laughs> There you go. All right, let's do this. All we're right, gonna, we're going to do, do a rehearsal. We're going to do a little rehearsal, Beetlejuice. Now, tell me, what do you think of uh, porno stars? Porno stars? Oh, that's the best sex they ever had in their whole life. How what many porno you? stars have you slept with? Oh, about 20 and 40. <laughs> so, again, it's not like you, you have to say what he's saying. So, if he says, tell me about porno stars, say, oh, hey, porno stars, I like porno stars. Don't, when he says, tell me how, what about porno stars, don't answer his question. You need to readdress no, the I'm question. No, I'm not addressing <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Beetlejuice, tell me again, how many porno stars have you slept with? Well, I see. I see, like, about 140. 140 what? 140 girls. Well, what, what about them? What about them? Oh, they're funny six girls, you know, they are, all right. you know. Okay, let's try something like this. People just say this. Say, say, girls have penises. Okay, girls have nice penises. Tell me what what you think about racism. Racism? Racism. He's a black person. <laughs> People is afraid of him. Ron Jeremy, Ron Jeremy is a faggot. Mo Jeremy is a faggot. Who? I am a football player. I'm a football player. I'm seven feet tall. Yeah. I'm seven foot two tall. What is everybody staring at? Hey, everybody staring and saying, what the fuck this guy is? <laughs> what is he, a porn star? What this motherfucker? He fuck with dreams. Beetle, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's angry, that's Beetle. Good. With an Beetle, attitude. How are you tonight? Beetle with an attitude. I'm a fucking attitude and I'm an angry bastard. That's right. Now you got to convey that message. You have to tell that message to everyone in that audience. Oh, I tell them all. Good job. I think you, you ready to go? I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> Tell me, are you ready to go? I'm ready. All ready? I'm very ready. He shocked us. He uh, he actually got it, which was totally. Yeah. Beal Juicy <laughs> did a good job. Thank uh, you. Let's hear, let's hear what that sounded like. Let's let's give it a look. The coaching. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Sorry. Okay, I'm up. Here we go. Okay. Beal, hang on a second. So you guys are telling him to walk forward. Right. He, he, was he wasn't even... Right. What happened that initially, there's a camera on the side of the stage, and he just saw the camera, so he starts facing the camera. He's facing side. Oh, right. he right. didn't get to the podium. <laughs> it was good you had the guys telling you what to do. Okay, Beetle, step up to the microphone. People call you Beetle for short? B. Yeah. Beetle, yeah. Or, or B. We call him B. 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 Okay. My name is Beetlejuice, and I have a big penis. Oh, big penis. That's 
that's right. What are you staring at? What are you all staring at? So fun the program Beetlejuice. Like a puppet. Yeah. It's fun, right? This is why they created all this technology. It's like a puppet. You forget to say anything. It's right. It's good. Beetlejuice, no, but Beetlejuice got the delivery. That's something yeah, you guys right. don't oh, have. Right, exactly. He's like Johnny Carson. He's got writers. Yeah, but you guys can say this great. stuff, but you don't have the look yeah, or the... Right, right. you don't have the looks, <laughs> and Beetlejuice knows how to sell the material. <laughs> the magic. It's much funnier coming out of The look or the time. You guys are just some hack writers, but Beetlejuice is the star. <laughs> You're nothing without him. <laughs> Beetlejuice. You should have seen, seen the reaction to that he got. Yeah, notice oh Beetlejuice God. got all the girls afterwards, not oh you two. Yeah. Did you guys get any women? No. Did they get any women, Beetlejuice? They could. They couldn't handle. <laughs> All right, let's let's hear more coaching. I have a big head. Big head, big skull. I have a dream. I have a dream. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I love all you. I I love I love all you whores and sluts. Alicia class, please, we need you. No, don't stop. Don't stop. He's yeah, yelling out, don't, don't stop. stop. Keep going. <laughs> Don't stop this panic <laughs> back in the control room. Don't stop. Don't fall. stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't you stay up there. If they shoot you, stay up there. <laughs> I love Howard Stern. I love Howard Stern. I love all you whores and sluts. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice, you would change the words. Right. Like they ad lived a little bit. Yeah, you would change to like whores and sluts to whores and bitches, right? You thought that was funnier? <laughs> and you're throwing a little oh, romance. It was very funny. It was very funny. It was very funny, yes. Small fish fry is a hot Jew. Paul is a hot Jew. What did you say? Paul Fishbein is a hot Jew, but Beetlejuice didn't get that. Paul Fishbein is a hot Jew? <laughs> he said, I'm hot and I'm better. Oh, all right. Well, sometimes he ad lives. He knows, he knows the crowd. He knows what the right thing is. <laughs> right. He knows the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> guys worked in front of audiences for a long time. That's right. Well, uh, Beetlejuice, you outdid yourself. I can't think of a greater man to accept my award. Really, I mean. I that. think he should accept all your awards. If from now on, you're the official award acceptor. <laughs> now people can get in touch with you at jollydwarf.com. I guess you work parties and. Uh, right. And, uh, in fact, you can uh, be thrown and things like that. Uh, How dwarf much tossing. do you work, Beetlejuice? Me? Yeah. I work for four to ten hours. <laughs> I mean, but do you work every day or just weekends? What do you work? Oh, I work on weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Wor the week is free, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ed, you're on with Beetlejuice. Hey, Howard. Yes. Nice going with that Angie Everhart thing. Oh, thank you. Love that. Yeah, hey, so uh, did I. Beetlejuice on the uh, 17th of December was supposed to come play uh, play my uh, Christmas party, and I got some bullshit call. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, 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 easy hey, on the hey. way. Oh, yeah. sorry about that. I got some call about two hours before showtime that he was canceling. Uh, his manager gave me, Sean, gave me some uh, song and dance about him having a broken ankle or something like that. Just want to see what the deal. I was in charge of the uh, entertainment for my party. I ended up looking like a big rube. Beetlejuice, anything? Do you know anything about that? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I had different things to do, you know. <laughs> did you break an ankle? You didn't break an ankle. I broke an ankle. Yeah, oh, you did break. Ah, an that's ankle. a load of horse crap. Yeah, where's your ankle? Huh? Where's <laughs> your ankle? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, well, you do know. Where is it. that why you're wearing the slippers? Does he know where yeah. it is? Yeah, he knows where it is. He knows where it is. Yeah, he knows his ankle. Uh, he found I, out I'm wondering if I can get some sort of uh, compensation for be for getting put out on the line like that. Probably not. I had to make do. I had to make do with some uh, retarded bagpipe playing a couple nasty uh, <laughs> who is. <laughs> well, what can you do? Beetlejuice is a star, and sometimes things happen to stars. There's only one Beetlejuice, and sometimes he hurts himself. Uh, it's a dangerous business he's in. We found out. Yeah, so much it is going to be dangerous. Him. What What did you find out about well, Beetlejuice? First of all, we found out his real age. I don't know if you know that. Hey, Beetlejuice, how old are you? Me, thirty-one. Right. Wow. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old? And he has a daughter. How old's your daughter? Oh, you don't want to know that. Well, tell us oh. how old your daughter is. Oh. She's seventy-five. <laughs> seventy-five. Really? She was thirty-four the other day. Uh. You got a daughter? Yeah, she lives in New York. <laughs> oh yeah, and she's seventy-five. Yeah. Wow. Really? What'd you get her for Christmas? Huh? Nothing. I sent her to school. <laughs> you did. Ah. Mm, to learn the golden rule. <laughs> and also, Beetlejuice you know, spent some time in jail, too. Oh, you did, Beetlejuice? Oh, I, I should tell this even before Beetlejuice gets to that story. What? Beetlejuice almost uh, had a, a, a horrible thing happen to him. What? He, uh, they almost had to do an emergency landing of the plane because of Beetlejuice. In fact, uh, what happened was, tell the story, Beetlejuice. You were on the plane. Well, well, I was on the plane. I smoked a cigarette. 
That was gonna put me in jail for five years. I said, go ahead. I got ten thousand dollars. What you gonna do anyway? You smoked a cigarette on the plane? He, he, yeah. So the, so the stewardess comes. He he lit up a cigarette on the plane. You know, is you're he not, sitting in a seat? Yeah. 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 He was in the plane. They were flying. Well, so I guess, I guess the story is that you know his manager Sean was sitting next to him. He fell asleep and like within thirty seconds he had a cigarette lit. Yeah, because Sean Sean is in <laughs> charge Sean of Beetlejuice. Him. So Beetlejuice, as soon as he sees Sean is asleep, he lights up the cigarette. So I think is th- so they were gonna they were gonna actually land the plane. Here's a guy who was on the plane. Robert, you were on that plane, right? Yes. What happened? Basically, uh, there was smoke. You could smell the smoke in the air. The stewardess came flying over to him. <laughs> and she uh, basically, she started, you know, she started really yelling at him, and we're going to have to emergency land the plane. It's a federal offense, blah, blah, blah. What and did Beetlejuice do? What's that? What was Beetlejuice doing? He just kept smoking? Be- Beetlejuice wasn't, wasn't disrespectful at this point yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> but what happened was, once he kind of, because the big guy, that big guy that's always with yeah, him. Yeah, Sean. Yeah. He kind of he kind of spoke on behalf of Beetlejuice because yeah. apparently Beetlejuice couldn't read the sign and couldn't understand understand the sign. Right, and Beetlejuice, you don't read it all. No. Nah. No. All right. <laughs> see, see, he knows he gets away with it. So they, they didn't. They, they're under federal law. You have to land the plane if, if someone starts to do it. Up, yeah. But they, they took a look at Beetlejuice and they figured, well, okay, he's a special case. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I guess the big guy kind of like just talked the lady, whatever. I don't right. know what happened. I couldn't really hear what was going on. But right. once he landed. Um, they, he he was up talking to the pilot, so I thought like the pilot might have been a big fan or whatever. Right. Next thing I know, he started verbally abusing the the stewardess that attacked him. Really? Beetlejuice. You told it. You told off the stewardess. Yeah. What did you what say did to you her? Say? I called her a bitch. You did. <laughs> and an asshole. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. No kidding. No bullshit. No. Hey, easy. Wait, hey, wait. you. <laughs> so so uh, you told the, the stewardess she was a bitch and an a hole. Yeah. And then you. And then, and then she threatened you again? Yeah, and I said, when I see it, I'll beat the shot of you. Oh well, you can't say God. that. You can't say that. You said, when you see her, you'll beat the ass out of her. You can't yeah. say that. Yeah. He's 6'7", 400 pounds. He's a grown man, and don't disrespect me. Right. <laughs> well, you thought yeah, they were treating you like a If you're a real man, why don't you come to me and say that in my face, you faggot? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a real man. Was he talking to me? Yeah. I'm sticking up for him. Why is he coming after me? I don't know. <laughs> he's Beetlejuice. He's Beetlejuice. <laughs> you don't like this guy. No Beetlejuice, I'll stick him in my pocket. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come in here and say that, you faggot? <laughs> right. Beetlejuice doesn't take any crap from anybody, right, oh Beetlejuice? My God. You know, we were shooting some stuff on this on the Vegas Strip, and this car went by, and everyone, ev- I mean, you see the head. You see this guy once. You know him. <laughs> right. So, so the car went by, and they opened the windows. They're like, yo, they were just heckling him a little bit, but they were fans right. of the show and fans of his. So he, he just got it. What did he what was he saying? He was he cursing man. He's like, come over you, here. Come over here. Come over here. I'll kick your... And he was, like, waving at that stick, and he's, like, waving it at everybody. <laughs> right, right. Hey, my son's here. You're I'll break close. your fucking head open with this. Y'all like it. Yell it again, dude. Break your fucking head open. A lot of people, because of your short height, they think they can kick your ass, but you, they had to let them know that you will fight them, right? You will fight anybody. I fight anybody. Strong as enough. Right. I'm strong as enough. You would beat up the stewardess. Yeah. You yeah. beat up I, girl? I, I weigh 200 pounds. I'll kill that guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill that guy. You don't want By the way, the pilot was laughing during all that. Just for the record. So, Beetlejuice, uh, it, was, it was a wild trip down in Vegas, right? Right. Right, okay. But do you know you're not supposed to smoke on a plane? I didn't see the smoke. They say so, no smoke inside. That's what it says on it. Huh? <laughs> see how he gets away with it? Yeah. <laughs> No, did you know you're not? It's against the law to smoke on a plane. Hey, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to smoke. He was in the plane and right. he needed to smoke. Right. What kind of cigarettes you smoke? It was Newport. Newports. Right. Yeah, menthol. Yeah. Yeah. So it was menthol. menthol. Yeah. So w- when the stewardess comes over and says, "Listen, you, you're not allowed to smoke here." Put you, that out. What did you say to her? What did I say to her? I said, "Get the hell away from me, bitch." <laughs> really? Because yeah. you're having a nice smoke. You weren't bothering anybody. No. Nah. Right, all right. You know what? He gambled also. Well, really? He was, he was playing blackjack, and Black apparently Jack. he was, like, hitting on 20 or something. You hit on 20? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't care, right? I don't care. He lost 200 bucks in about three minutes. <laughs> right. Why do you hit on 20? I could have hit on 20. I could have hit on 25. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hit on 25. All right. Well, Boy, listen, all I know is I saw a tape of you out there. You were with all the women. Every woman wanted Beetlejuice. 
It's true. It is true. Look at this. Look at this. What's going on out there? There it is. There they are kissing him. Oh my God. <laughs> all the girls were all over Beetlejuice. What are you saying to him? He's talking. He's got a rap. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, Beetlejuice, go to jollydwarf.com if you want to book Beetlejuice for some work. Uh, he's available for parties, things like this. Uh, he's a great guy, and everybody loves Beetlejuice. Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Uh, it's brilliant having this guy. You know, he's hilarious. You love Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, I'm a big fan. <laughs> One of your fans, Beetlejuice. I hear you, brother. Yeah? Hey, Howard. Yes. Um, what was I going to say? Hey, you don't have nothing you don't to know. say. <laughs> we don't know what you're going to say. Tony, go ahead. Howard. Yeah. The funniest thing I've ever seen. The first time I ever met Beetlejuice with my friends, he was working at a carnival, handing out softballs to knock down the bottle. I swear to you God. You used to work at the carnival? Yeah. yeah. I've been there for nine years. years. You still, you work, still the work the carnival. Yeah, I still work there, yeah. yeah. In Jersey City. And we, we didn't care about winning the stand, obviously. We just stayed there because we were cracking up at the size of his freaking head. Right. It's hysterical. Right, people love Beetlejuice, right? No, how that is. You know about such people over there on the side. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. What? What'd you say? No. It was a class <laughs> shit I made up. Okay. I don't know what Next he said. Time. All right. Thank you. Uh, Gary the Retard wants to say hi. Go ahead, Gary the Retard. Hey, how are you? How are you? Beetlejuice. Hey, G- Beetlejuice, you know, you know Gary the Retard? What's up, man? What's up? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, How's the joke going? Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what? You should be back the next street because I'm going to be back to New York again. So you better come to Howard's radio station again. Hey, I'm always here, brother. I'm you always here. You better come when I come, because I'm leaving there uh, a week from next Thursday. Come back to New York. I like to listen to these two guys talk. They seem to have a meeting of the minds. You guys go ahead. I won't interrupt. Yeah. Show. What's right. up? Talk What's to me. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, how do you get all these good looking women back there? Hey, you got to hold on and hand it on, brother. Got to <laughs> speak nicely, bro. Can you, can you set me up for some of them? <laughs> oh, I'll get you a couple. Yeah, I need, I need a woman. These, uh, these guys are like the Martin and Lewis. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> of, uh, this is the best I, conversation I'll each one of them's ever had. Man. I'll set you up. All right, all right. Anyway, hey, Gary, uh, thank you very much. Gary the retard, everybody. Mm. All right, Jack, you're on the air. Jack, go ahead. No Jack, I guess. Hello? All right. Well, I can see we've run out of time Jack for the Beetlejuice. Jack by that conversation. Right. He, he's still stunned. <laughs> yeah. Beetlejuice, congratulations. Thank you for going to pick up this award uh, on my behalf at uh, the... Oh, no, yeah, and he can keep his focus for how long? I don't know, but Beetlejuice is focused on me, that's for sure. <laughs> Beetlejuice is staring at me like a woman in love. Are you in love with me, Have Beetlejuice? No. No. Our Beetlejuice was good enough to take a plane all the way down to uh, Vegas. Right. Did you like Las Vegas? Had you ever been there before? Yeah, I've been there twice. Is that right? I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know. know you traveled. You were down there on other business? Yeah. What kind of business? Oh, uh, travel business. Traveling business, yeah. All right. So anyway, so Beetlejuice, we sent Beetlejuice to accept. Yes, I will accept your award. Yeah, my award, yes. Yeah. All right. Beetlejuice got out there when they announced my name. Because I thought it was ridiculous that I was receiving the Adult Video News Award. You were embarrassed. That's right. By the way, here it is. Oh, right there's there. the tape. Look wow. at Beetlejuice. Yeah, there's Beetlejuice coming out. Let me play it now, if you can turn that off, and let me play the sound. He looks like the good humor man. Yeah. <laughs> <Except before. laughs> so, a lot of you people know about us giving, the Howard, giving Howard Stern the Special Achievement Award and how he would not come this evening. And um, we wanted to give it to Howard Stern for a couple reasons. One, because it's great publicity. Two, he's really been done a lot for this industry, and a lot of the girls in the industry have gotten tremendous publicity. He has really treated this industry like a regular industry and given, every, given this business a lot of press. I think Beetlejuice is snoring. Beetlejuice, are you awake? What are you, snoring? <laughs> nah, right. nah. Don't, oh. don't sleep, sleep during this. Sleep during this. It's your moment. It's your moment to come out. Here we go. And a lot of positive press. And with his own FCC battles, I thought it was appropriate to give him the award. It's mm. not a very nice speech. He, he seems to be... Just one for best anal scene. <laughs> you know, win awards. So, okay. Beetle, now, now bring in Beetlejuice. 
here, come, here he comes. And by the way, if you want more information on Beetlejuice, because people are writing us all the time, they want to get in touch with Beetlejuice. Can you get a hold of Beetlejuice? The, the real place to get a hold of Beetlejuice. Here he comes. He's wearing his slippers oh, and robes. He changed his hair color. Yes, he did. He's the oh, Dennis Rodman oh. of dwarves. Dennis Rodman. He, I think he's the the. He's Hef. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he's dressed in <laughs> robe and bunny slippers. <laughs> Beetlejuice. No. Uh, for information on Beetlejuice, go to jollydwarf.com. Beetlejuice You know, is I like this look. He looks great. He's got a big cigar. <laughs> you look great, Beetlejuice. Thank you. Get, get, cl- get close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just soaking in Beetlejuice. I know. It takes a while. Beetlejuice, whose idea was it for you to... He has such a small head that the headphones don't fit on him. It's okay. It's all right. What's a top And the funniest head? thing is the little tuft of hair <laughs> on the top. Beetlejuice, what do you do? You dyed your hair like Dennis Rodman? Is he a hero of yours? Yeah. Yeah, you like Dennis Rodman. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading... like him. Yeah, you look like him. You do. Yeah, you're a shorter yeah. version. It <laughs> looks like shaving cream on top of No, I shave every day, you know. Yeah. Oh. So Beetlejuice... Don't uh, distract you'll be, descri- yeah. you'll be surprised to know that Dennis Rodman badly wants to get back into basketball. He has removed all the hair color from his hair. Is that right? He has stopped wearing all the wild uh, jewelry. He got rid of the piercing? Got rid of the... Uh, and he is now... I read this in the paper today. He's, he would love to be with the L.A. Lakers again because of the coach... The guy who coached him in Chicago. Right. Uh, uh, Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. But since they don't want him, they're a winning team. Uh, I think he's trying to go to Dallas anywhere. Yeah, I heard Dallas was yeah. sort of interested. And he says now he's serious. He's not going to be distracted, and he's going to be a serious player. Oh, sure. Well, that's what he says. We're angry <laughs> yeah. at you. Yeah, like, we're giving him this award. Here's why. So You know, you know we decided to give him the award because it would be good publicity. Yeah, right. totally and he wouldn't even pick it up. I remember when Al Goldstein got this award last year. They were like, hey, here he comes. He's a freedom oh, fighter. So great. I yeah. think because I didn't show up, they're bad mouth yeah. me. Yeah. So Howard does deserve this award. But he wouldn't come this evening, despite my urgings and 4 a.m. telephone calls. Excuse me, I couldn't fly out to Las Vegas. I got a job. Like, I'm going to get up and accept an award with a straight face in front of, like, best anal actress. Yeah, the girl who yeah. just uh, had never done a movie, yeah. had never held a camera, and just won an award. Well, Beetlejuice was m- more than willing to go out there. He sent somebody named Beetlejuice to pick up this award. So... To accept Howard Stern's Special Achievement Award is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, here he comes now. Now Beetlejuice walks out. He walks out. Dressed beautifully. Women, beautiful A lot of women. beautiful women carrying Beetlejuice out. They and have to go. Music f- to pipe him in. Yeah, and they have to find a, a thing for him to stand there because Beetlejuice box. is quite short. Yeah. No, well, this is for Howard Stern. What? This is for Howard Stern. <laughs> so now they're trying to find you a thing a to stand bomb. on, right? Yeah. Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what you're saying when you talk? Yeah. Yeah, you understand. All right, because you might have to translate some of this uh. stuff. Well, Beetlejuice well, be here had a big penis here. <laughs> ah. All right, so now you're talking about the size of your penis, and uh, you're saying I'm a great man. <laughs> But you come after yeah, his yeah. penis. Right. Is it? What are all staring at? What are you all staring at? <laughs> 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 You're up there making a speech and staring at you. I don't bet he got in and I was staring there. How you like it? <laughs> big head and big star. I have a dream. I love it. Uh, I love to throw up, babies. You love to what? Throw up? <laughs> you love to throw up? Is that what you said? Sure. <laughs> That's a fake. I just said that. You just said that. All right, here we go. A horse and horse. Alicia Class, please, we need you. There it is. Thank you. No, they, they're cutting them <laughs> off. You're just getting warmed up. <laughs> that was rude of them to cut you off like that, right? Oh, man. Were you yeah, insulted? They cut me off. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You were making Where a good they, What did they take you after this? Out to the alley to beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Sex is better. How do you love it? Sex is better. Were you yelling, Sex is better? Sex right. is better than what? Women. Than uh, women. I love Harry Stern. He's a great man. I love it, 
whores and bitches around here. I love that shit. A lot of whores and bitches around there. Did you get there. any action while you were out there? Did you get laid out there? Me? Well, twice. Twice? Really? I saw a tape of him. All the uh, porno stars were all over Beetlejuice like he was like James Bond. Really? Like he was a rock star. The girls were going wild for you. Yeah, they was. They were d- taking their breasts and hitting you in the head with them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Did you like that? Hey, that was good, though. It was all good. And I saw some... What do you mean, do you mean by that, Beetle? I don't know about that, bro. What, uh... What, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't want to tell him that? <laughs> You all right? You're like a different person right now. Yeah, I'm a little fucked up right now. Oh, you're fucked up? You're fucked up? Yeah. You ready to uh, tell Harold about Vegas? Well, I'll tell him that, yeah. What are you going to tell him? Oh, I don't see that. Are you going to tell him about all the porno chicks? Oh yeah, couple of fucks, couple of bitches. Bitches and hoes? Bitches and hoes. Bitches, hoes, and sluts. Sluts, bitches. That's right. You like that, right? Oh, yeah, I had a nice time with it. All right, man. Uh, let's bring in the Beetlejuice. Uh, uh. But wait a second, don't bring in Beetlejuice yet. Uh, let me set this up right. Okay, so, you know, a couple of, uh, like, like three months ago, Baba Buhai came to me ah. during the show, as he does in the commercials, and he says, uh, says to me, uh, boy, there's good news and bad news. Uh-oh, another one? Yeah, good news and bad news. Yeah. I said, what's the good news and the bad That's news? That's what it is. Said, well, the good news is you received a major reward. I said, oh, really? He says, but the bad news is it's from Adult Video News. That's the porno awards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said, well, the bad news is always your teeth. <laughs> Thank you, both. Both. Thank you for the compliment, both. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, it's true. I received the Freedom of Speech Award or something from the Adult Video News, which is a porno convention where, like, chicks who...